Hey there, I'm Peter Travers, the film critic for Rolling Stone magazine, and I'm here to talk about another summer movie. And this one is called Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. There's no the, you know? It's not the Fantastic Four or the Rise. We get away, we just go straight to the action. If you all remember 2005 when the first uh, Fantastic Four came out, you know that it was egregiously awful. Uh, this one is not egregiously awful, this is just awful, uh, plain awful, in that way that makes you sort of give up on life and that sort of kills your spirit. This is a really stupid movie, but there are two really sleek, cool special effects in it. The first one is Jessica Alba naked falling off of a building, which I thought was great, but don't get too excited because it's PG and that means that she's covered up like that while she's falling off the building and even when she lands she's okay. And the other great special effect is the Silver Surfer himself. I mean, he's all computer generated. He has the voice of Lawrence Fishburne, but he is like the coolest surfing trophy I've ever seen. I mean, he's just sleek and wonderful looking. And then I've got nothing to say that's good. I mean, come on, how dumb can a movie be? This one is plotless, it's brainless, it's witless, it's dull. You just sit there saying, what happened? And the big what happened is, how could actors who are otherwise good turn into rank amateurs when they do a, a Fantastic Four movie? Uh, Ewan Gruford, which is, he's a Welsh actor, he was in Amazing Grace this year and really terrific, is as stiff and wooden as a surfboard in this one. I don't know what happens, is it the bad dialogue? I mean, Jessica Alba, bless her, has not been somebody who can act in the first place, but here, at least you can get to look at her. And she has a little more to do this time. She's the invisible woman. And there's a scene where she's getting married to Mr. Fantastic and you see her have a zit on her forehead and she stands in front of the mirror and makes the zit invisible. So this is pretty funny. This is a good thing. There's no more funny. Michael Chiklis, who you probably know from The Shield on cable TV, he plays a brick wall. I mean, that's what he is. He's a brick wall. He's a guy they call The Thing. So you bury the actor who has the best expressions on his face behind latex. What are you thinking, people? And he has a love story, too, because Kerry Washington plays a sculptor, a blind sculptor, who loves him. Are you crying already? Are you really sad? No. You watch it and you realize that Jessica Alba has more chemistry in this movie with Chris Evans than she does with the guy she's marrying. What makes this even creepier is that Chris Evans plays Johnny Storm, which means he's her brother in the movie. But they're looking at each other like they like each other. Or maybe I'm just imagining something kinky and wonderful in a summer movie that has no thought in its head, no reason to be kinky, no reason to have action. They sit around and talk. There's a couple of falling off of buildings. The Silver Surfer sort of helps them in the end not to have the world destroyed. And the Silver Surfer, with that voice of Lawrence Fishburne, has one great line. He says to the assembled multitude near the end of the movie, remember, you have a choice. And I'm saying to you people out there, remember, you have a choice. If you get to see Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, make sure that your choice is not to see it.